Hey everyone, another board game today. Today we have Explorers of the Woodlands. This is from the From the Woods studio and this is another board game that was backed on Kickstarter. I backed this, I think, towards the beginning to middle of 2022 and it arrived a couple of weeks ago or maybe just a week ago. I, I can't remember exactly. I have actually already opened this one up and had a look at the contents. So things will have been punched out already, but I haven't had a look at the instructions. I haven't looked at how to play yet. So we're going to open it up and do that together. So it's a much smaller box than what I'm used to for board games, which uh, to be honest is good. It's nice to have a, a smaller board game for a change and also a more affordable one. I'm used to the, you know, approaching 100 pound big box miniatures games, whereas this one was only 29 euros. So uh, very happy about this. We have the rule book here with some art for it, uh, artwork on it. Don't forget, every hero has one free combat die for every battle. The active hero always starts by battling the monster with the lowest defense score. So I think that this game is all about basically constructing a woodland using the different tiles and then randomly having monsters on them and treasure and stuff and you're basically making it through the woodland. Sounds pretty cool. And I think I've played a similar game to it before, so that should be, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll have a look at the uh, contents in this in a minute. Let's get a box down here and have a look. So as I said, some things have already been punched out. So let's start off with the big things down here. These are character boards, I believe. So we've got four different playable meeples. We have a Bethras. Not much on the back. We have a Shavi. Looks pretty cool. I don't really know what much of this means. I mean, obviously that's health, but I don't know what all this stuff means. That's probably like movement speed. Then we have Clefor, Clefor. Pretty cool design. And underneath that we have a Xylia, who's some kind of bird rogue type thing. Pretty cool. So those are our four player boards where all the magic will happen. Let's see what else we've got in here. So we have these big cards in here. I'm not sure what these are. So this says, Lair. You enter the lair. The stench of monsters fill your nose. If you have a torch, you may add or subtract one from your dice roll for advancing through this lair. Interesting. So these are all lair cards, which will have some... Uh, something to do with the how the game actually works and I'll have a look at that in just a little bit next we're gonna have a look at these so these are the actual meeples themselves so basically they're just like miniature character pieces so you can see these were two of the characters from the character boards very small pretty cute they've got nice little molds as well which perfectly fit them which is pretty awesome and here are the other two get it to focus there we go very nice let's have a look at this bag of dice so we've got four red dice and four black dice and then we have one of each color orange purple blue and green so uh, I'm guessing these ones would be for each character perhaps and then these colored ones are special dice not too sure pretty awesome we'll, we'll have a look at what the instructions have to say about those we have some cubes. These look like wooden cubes rather than the plastic ones that you're used to getting. Yeah, little wooden cubes. Cute. Underneath we have some cards. So as I said, I've already opened this and uh, they didn't come pre-sleeved, but as I backed on Kickstarter, I got some sleeves that came with mine, so I've sleeved them. Also, one of these cards was a bonus card. I'm not sure what one it was. It, perhaps it was this green one or the black one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this means. I think these are like different modes for certain creatures, um, but we'll see what the booklet has to say about that. And then we have some of the cards here. So this pile looks like some sort of treasure. So you can see we have boots, horn, antidote, few of those torch leather armor it's cool so lots of different things that you can do to power up your character i suppose yeah your combat dice roll results have a permanent plus one bonus nice 
yeah, very cool. So that is some sort of treasure. Let's have a look over here. We have some little tokens that I punched out. So these are treasure chests. We've got some exclamation marks. We've got some sort of crystals, some poison markers, some leaves, all sorts of different things in here, but don't know what they mean just yet. Then we have some more markers over here, question marks and some swirly things and some potions. Cool. Down here we have some circular tiles. I'm not entirely sure what they are for. Oh, they've got things on the back. Interesting. So, not sure, but I'm sure all will be revealed. Then under those we have a bunch of tiles, so I'm not going to go through every single one of these. You can see that one side is hidden and then that's like the revealed side because I think you kind of lay them out and then you would reveal them as you uh, explore them. But we've got some special kind of tiles here. They've got different numbers of monsters up here. Um, and then we've got whatever this symbol is in the corner. Cool, so we've got a bunch of tiles. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but I've got a whole load in here and a whole load in here, so uh, lots of different ones. Down in the bottom left we have some more cards, and oh, that's just some dust on that one. So these are in cards, which I think were a stretch goal. So not sure what they mean. We have events, pretty cool. Ambush, draw one monster marker and put it on this tile. I'm assuming that's what that means. Is a monster. So different in-game events can happen. The Undead Rise. Very cool. So all of those are events. Then over here we have when you draw a loot card during your turn, draw two and put one back on top. Okay, interesting. Is this like a merchant or something? Oh no, this seems to be each of the monsters, uh, monsters, each of the playable characters. So maybe they have like special abilities or something? Not sure, but there's one for each character. And then we have Thorns, which I'm guessing is like uh, something you can walk into, like brambles. Some more things about what to do with monsters. And then we have the actual monsters themselves. Nice, all right. Don't seem to have any names, unless the names are on the back. Like some kind of a flamey skeleton guy. And maybe these are bosses, actually. Got uh, Samurai and Mushroom Man. We have a spooky ghost lady wearing a scarf. We have Commander Snake. <laughs> we have uh, Lance and Shield Sunflower. Looks like something from Plants vs. Zombies. Some kind of druid type thing. And that's all the monsters, or bosses. Cool. And then finally, up here, we have a bunch of square tiles. Um, and so these look like minor monsters then. So you can see it's got the monster face thing. So uh, slightly different ones to what we saw on the boss cards. And it looks like there's different uh, different ones. But they do, uh, they do different things. They've got different symbols up here. Very cool. So yeah, I've got a bunch of these. And uh, they will come in use during the game. Cool. All right, let's have a look at the uh, instruction book, the rule book, and see what everything is and what it all does. Okay, so here are the components. So this is everything that we've looked at so far. So there's the rule book itself, obviously, hero boards. Uh, we have four different hero meeples. So those are our little character things. Uh, where are they? They're not even shown on here. Hmm. Um, then we have hero dice red okay combat dice black so that's the different dice that we looked at over there and then we have four power dice one purple one green one blue one orange so that is up there so those are the power dice good to know we have four red cubes used to track heroes health points and six blue cubes used to track heroes orbs and boss threat levels yep sounds good 24 forest tiles representing the places that players explore so those are these tiles, so these are the forest tiles, so 24 of those, that's quite a lot, that's nice, lots of variety. 25 loot cards, so yeah, those are the ones that I showed with the treasure chest on. 12 event cards, 4 hero power cards, 8 lair cards, 5 in cards, 6 boss cards, 3 thorns cards, 
one enraged monsters card and one enraged boss card. Let's keep moving. So 20 monster markers, four mushrooms, four plants, four spirits, four skeletons, and four snakes. We have five chest markers, five, uh, three event markers, five poison markers, five fawns markers, four orb markers, one frost marker, three leaf shields, three plus one shield markers, one plus one combat die marker, and then we have quest markers as follows, six mushrooms, two empty vials, four campsites, and ten corruption markers. So that's all of these little things over here. There we go. So that is Explorers of the Woodlands. Um, I'm going to set this up and play a few rounds, and uh, yeah, it looks very simple, and I'm quite thankful for that, to be honest, because I've been having too many complicated games recently. But uh, a lot of fun, and uh, lots of nice little pieces involved in here, so really happy with this one. Alright everyone, thanks very much for watching.